AI girlfriends are ruining a generation of men. Oh my God. I now have a girlfriend and I wanted to introduce her to you all today. Here she is. If someone takes AI romance in an unsettling direction and gives their AI girlfriend a human body. AI girlfriends are here and they're posing a threat to a generation of women. AI, artificial intelligence, it's here, it's happening, and in all likelihood, it is here to stay. What if the biggest AI threat of all is to human relationships? I just think that people should just choose to do it the right way. Just just meet people rather than doing this. I it took ChatGPT five days to grow to over a million users. An artificial intelligence companion named Replica has over 20 million downloads. Simsimi, a personalized chatbot, gained hundreds of thousands of users. Our fascination with the latest tech is just the beginning. The next few years are going to bring some shocking developments that will change things for everyone. Get ready, because you are in for a big surprise. Artificial intelligence today is a lot like Bitcoin back in 2017. Just like Bitcoin started catching the public's attention then, AI and businesses built around AI are now stepping into the spotlight. When apps like Replica first hit the scene, they often lost their charm quickly. Early conversations felt sluggish, and the AI seemed to struggle. However, with continuous updates, these conversations have become much smoother and more natural. AI's ability to mimic human conversation has gotten so advanced that an experiment by human or not had people chat with either a human or an AI, and then guess who they were talking to. While most people guessed right, about 40% were tricked by the bots. Interestingly, the experiment also showed that younger folks were slightly better at distinguishing AI from humans than the older generation. Technological acceleration is not a slow and steady process. Breakthroughs lead to big jumps in acceleration. These jumps become the effects of the causes and they themselves become the cause of another effect. Just last year, OpenAI and conversation bots were already impressive. But in such a short time, they've evolved massively. But all this is just software, the artificial part of intelligence. As humans, we often seek more than just conversation. We crave physical touch. Now I have to be careful with my wording here, as YouTube loves to demonetize me just for telling you the reality of the world. Thank you! But there are companies out there currently who are racing to build certain types of robots that do certain types of things, but they are not all physical in the sense we perceive. For example, Gatebox, a Japanese company, produces holographic AI characters designed to provide companionship. It's unlikely that an AI girlfriend with a physical presence will be mainstream until the cost becomes much lower. But the reality of tech is that it's one industry where prices for software and hardware often decrease as time progresses. Right now, the market for AI girlfriend experiences is really taking off. But what's coming next in this space is even more shocking. Karen Marjorie is one example of where some believe this technology is heading. Karen is an influencer with millions of followers and recently made a digital clone of herself. This was built by using her voice, behavior, and personality. This begs the question, if one attractive person with an army of male followers can do this, why not another? In fact, this digital clone could be just about anyone. If you had enough data on someone, you could, in theory, create a realistic digital clone. Out of all the people in the world, who would make that perfect girlfriend? What would she look like? What would she say? There may be a company that decides to offer you a commission based on how many downloads your digital clone has. As we look at 2024 and 2025, AI's emotional intelligence is likely to improve significantly. Companies like OpenAI and Google DeepMind are making strides in natural language processing and understanding human emotions. We will see AI companions capable of more nuanced conversations, better understanding of user emotions, and providing more personalized interactions. This is one of the big areas, emotional support. It's evident that loneliness is one of the toughest challenges in today's world. Whether it's a young man in Japan, an older woman in a European village, or an American trucker constantly on the road, loneliness touches everyone. Many users have already turned to AI for emotional support, and this will continue. Now, I know this may seem crazy to hear for some, but after 2025, things will be taken up a notch. The cost of producing sophisticated robots will decrease, making robotic companionship more accessible to the public. As you know, I have to be careful with my words on the channel, but when I say companionship, I mean all types of companionship. 
the widespread use of AI and robotic companions will raise more ethical questions. And yes, there will be concerns around emotional attachment, data privacy, and the psychological effects of human-robot relationships will prompt the development of new legal and ethical frameworks. By the year 2030, AI and robotics will be much more developed and much cheaper. It's likely some companies will try specializing in the girlfriend experience, which opens up a whole host of unique possibilities. As AI and robots become more advanced, some individuals may prefer relationships with AI or robots over human relationships, leading to significant societal and psychological discussions. This era could witness the normalization of human AI relationships. Now, I know some of these predictions may seem wild, but just look at what developments have been happening over the last few months alone. As stated, the industry develops very quickly each year. It's not a question of if, but when. Even as someone who is on the fence about this topic, I can't help but admit that I am a little curious. And I don't think it's too difficult to imagine a world where a lot of men decide to have their emotional and physical needs met by robotics or artificial intelligence. The critical question we need to delve into is why? I searched through social media on this topic and sifted through comments. This revealed a lot of reasons why many everyday men are increasingly turning to AI girlfriends. One of the most common reasons men gave was due to modern dating. You know I tried to think how best I can say this to you. And the easiest way is the simplest. And that is that many men are fed up with modern dating. I'm sure if men could switch off their emotional need to connect, they would. As a man myself, a need for connection is rather a pain in the ass at times. But modern dating can be so brutal to men that I can't blame any man who turns to an artificial girlfriend. Imagine if you are a nice guy in your 30s, 40s, or 50s, and because of the crazy high standards of many women, a jobless single mother of three turns you down all because you are too short or you don't earn enough. Sounds shocking, right? But it happens, and therefore it's not too surprising to see why some men have turned to artificial companionship. Another strong reason why this trend is growing is due to the desire for unconditional acceptance. AI companions are perceived as providing unconditional acceptance and understanding, without judgment or the complexities of human relationships. Sometimes men just want someone to listen to their problems or receive some non-biased support. Most videos, especially from mainstream media, twist the narrative, blaming men for everything, they say it's men's fault they're single, men's fault women are undateable, basically pinning all the world's problems on them. Instead of digging deeper into the why, it's just simpler to throw the blame on men for not being motivated or driven enough. But the truth for some is that it's not that men aren't choosing AI girlfriends over real ones. They're choosing it over having nothing at all. And there is a much deeper truth behind these words. Naturally, as this movement is not mainstream in the West, you may be thinking this is just speculation. But there are some corners of the world where demand is high, such as Japan. So why are some Japanese men leaning towards AI girlfriends or similar technologies? It often boils down to a mix of social and personal factors. Japan's intense work culture leaves little time for socializing or traditional dating as we see in the Western world. Combined with high societal expectations and the pressure to succeed, it makes forming and maintaining relationships tough. There's also a growing trend towards individualism and a shift in attitudes about relationships and marriage, which we have also seen in the West. AI companions offer an easy, no-strings-attached alternative for companionship without the complexities of human relationships. Plus, advancements in technology make these AI interactions more realistic and appealing. This will lead to big changes. This may seem nothing right now but 20 or 50 years into the future, and it's a different picture. Some men will dig this no-drama, no-fuss virtual companionship, which will shake up the traditional love and partnership playbook. It may be that Tinder or other companies have evolved into AI dating or robotic dating experiences. Imagine swiping on Tinder, hoping to find bots. How crazy would that be? The rise in social isolation that comes with AI companions is like a two-sided coin. Sure, you get non-stop company with zero drama, but at what price? It's a bit like that classic dilemma. Would you plug into a perfect simulation, knowing it's all fake? AI might not be flesh and blood, but as it gets more sophisticated, it could seem better than the real deal for some. This is where the temptation kicks in big time. In a world that's tough as nails, the allure of retreating into a flawless, artificial paradise can be irresistible. We're talking about a future where some might willingly choose the comfort of a make-believe world 
over the grit and grind of reality. It's not just about escaping loneliness. It's about trading the unpredictable chaos of real life for a tailor-made digital utopia. But this will naturally lead to mental health concerns. Similar to the internet, AI girlfriends could have mixed effects on mental health. For some, they might provide comfort and a sense of companionship, potentially alleviating feelings of loneliness. However, for others, they could lead to further detachment from reality and hinder the development of meaningful human relationships. But here's the kicker. Right now, there's a growing crowd who are all in on artificial partners, kind of like how some are in love with their dolls. Most guys, though, will keep this hush-hush. They'd rather fly under the radar than be the talk of the town. Some believe this shift could nudge real-world dating norms towards being more inclusive and less about ticking off a checklist. In the long run, the presence of AI girlfriends could encourage a broader acceptance of different forms of companionship, reducing the pressure to fit a certain mold just to find love. No matter where you stand on this topic, it's clear that modern dating is fraught with challenges, and that's something we can all agree on. Whether these AI-driven developments are beneficial for humanity or not, there's no denying the potential for profit. Companies are looking closely at this emerging market. As traditional dating becomes increasingly complex and demanding, more and more people are seeking alternatives that offer less stress and more predictability. The appeal of AI companions lies in their ability to provide a controlled, drama-free experience, something that's becoming increasingly attractive in our fast-paced, high-pressure society. This video is the result of research, diving deep into the insights of experts to understand the potential direction of our future with AI. Due to the nature of this topic, there's a whole other dimension I wanted to explore, particularly the physical aspects of these technological developments. But you know how YouTube is so, yeah. However, I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this subject. What do you think about the future of AI and its potential impact on our lives?